Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and today we've got a new reaction. It is out, Agony District by Boss Fight, the new seven track EP, almost 30 minutes long. Absolutely will be destructive. Uh, there have been four singles that came out beforehand. There's Endgame, Warp, The Pit, and Grit. And uh, for this video, uh, we are going to listen to it all fully right now. Sometimes I like to cut back to my first reaction to these songs, but we're just going to listen to it all right now, even the older stuff that we've already listened to. But um, yeah, uh, there are chapter marks if you want to go to see specific songs or specific sections or my thoughts on certain things. But uh, you know, let's hop into it. Uh, boss Fight's here, and uh, I'm ready to have my uh, head explode, I think is the best way to put it. Uh, so <laughs> here we go. This is Endgame by Boss Fight. the first of the EPs or singles, I believe. Am I correct on this? I'm correct. No, more than a year ago. I haven't listened to the song in a while, so still as destructive as always.
Okay. End game by Boss Fight. Um, first track that was released almost a year ago. What is uh, what does my spreadsheet say? March 29th, 2021. Crazy how long ago that was released to this for this is still part of an EP. I remember even the Just Snow LP on Monster Cat, uh, how long some of the songs came out before the whole album. But um, yes, that's besides the point. Um, yeah, th this song, I'm not going to say too much on these singles that have already been released. It's been out for over a year, so you have your opinions on this already. Uh, if you have not heard it, that may be your first time. But, uh, yeah, a, a solid track. It's, uh, I, I like Boss Fight. I don't think this is one of his best tracks. I do enjoy it. Like, I would say this is, like, upper tier, still in just a general music sense. Uh, I do, I do appreciate the kind of drum step style of this track compared to the more, uh, just brooding dubstep sounds uh, i like the more like the kind of constant beat especially the the kind of double time pickup at the end uh the last half so yeah it's it's a fun song i enjoyed it it's not something i think i would go return to a ton as i realized that i hadn't really heard the song in a while but um yeah that's uh that's end game but uh let's hop into a new song though uh this is toxic uh here we go track number two That was, that was, wow, that was, there was a lot going on there, and I, uh, I, I really liked that. 
Um, that might be one of my more favorite boss fight tracks. I don't know that. Wow. Um, two things in particular I really liked about that song. Uh, first, that uh, I don't know if it actually was an actual guitar sound, but the really distorted guitar uh, in the intro I I really liked, or the the whatever mimicked that sound. Big fan of that. And um, in the particular in the back half, the kind of ladder step ups of that synth, the, like this, this added so much intensity and just brought I don't know. I feel like it, it, without that kind of step up. Without that ladder, we're we're not quite the song's not quite there. So I think that added both those both those sounds or ideas added a, a lot to this track. Um, yeah, this is I think a really great balance of the the hardest thing for me is I I really don't like uh, brooding dubstep or rhythm that's just so like annoying to the ears and just a little piercing in some sounds and just ah it's just a little it gets a little too intense. I like do like a flinch every time some songs, um, some parts of the song come on. But uh, this had a great job of keeping that balance between not quite hitting that, that threshold or getting right to the edge of the threshold, but not quite going over and um, just keeping it, yeah, keeping it nice and level. It is very well mixed, very well mastered. So uh, way to go, Toxic. Way to go. Uh, so let's hop into the third track. Uh, this one came out a bit ago as well. Uh, this is Warp. Too. 
Okay. I'll uh, I'll admit this one flew under the radar for me when I first uh, heard it. It was in a season where I wasn't listening to a ton of Monster Cat. I was very busy with stuff. Um, but uh, this one flew under the radar for me as much. I gave it a couple listens and I was like, eh, not too much. But in the context of the rest of this EP and what I know we got with Grit and stuff, I, I have a greater appreciation for this track now. Uh, this did feel like the the true precursor to Grit, um, because it had that first kind of part of the song was that bass house sound, um, even though it is labeled as dubstep or whatever it's bro step. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, this really is, it's like the, oh, hey, like you like the little bit of that sound? Well, just wait for, just wait for Grit. Just wait for, wait for that whole thing, which I think is the, the grandest track of all of this thing. I don't know if that's just me. I don't know. Uh, that's, although I really like the pit. So, I don't know. We'll have to see when we get there. But, uh, yeah, that, that's I really have a great appreciation for the song now uh, that the whole EP is out. So, uh, with that, let's move on to the fourth and middle track of the EP. Uh, this is Fake. Oh, yes, the hard dance song. I forgot there's a hard dance in here. dance. I don't know why. (laughs) 
Uh, okay, that was uh, that was fake. Um, I take that for with a grain of salt. I'm not a hard dance person. I, I don't love hard dance. There are some so odd songs here and there that I really enjoy from hard dance, but this uh, not so much. I still like the song. I like. I, I would say it's like a just. I don't love giving numbers all the time. But like this is like a six out of ten for me. Um, it's uh, it's fun. I, I like what I like what Boss Fight did. I understood the the mechanics of the track and the the uniqueness and create creative ideas of this hard dance and blending it with the very <laughs> I say it a lot brooding sound that uh, Boss Fight has all the time. So you know, like I, it works. Like it works as a hard dance song. My guess is that will blow some of you away. Like that's like oh my gosh, that is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, for me, it's just uh, yeah, I don't know. It's not. Uh, it's it's not. It's not for me. That's not really for me. I, I can appreciate it a little bit. So, uh, Let's hop into The Pit, which uh, I actually really enjoyed. The Pit and Grit, I really liked. So uh, here we go. This is The Pit. Okay, The Pit. Uh, this was actually the first song I did a reaction to earlier. 
um, or re- earlier. It's the first song I've done a reaction to for Boss Fight. I've done three up to this point. Uh, the Pit, um, Shadow, and uh, Warp. Or sorry, not Warp, Grit. Um, this song I have less of an appreciation for uh, than now that I've the rest of heard, the, heard the rest of the EP. I don't know what it is. I can't quite put my finger on it. I was, I was very serious that whole time trying to figure out what it was. I was like, why... Why do I feel not as in love with this track as I did originally? It's still like a great track. I really enjoy it. But I I remember I was like, oh, yeah, I'm getting this is the pit. And, and I'm just I'm like, OK, I know exactly what's going to happen. I'm just, yeah, it's going to be nuts. And I was like, actually, like it was it, like it was it was, like, it was like good. But it wasn't like for some reason I thought it was like, oh, yeah, that is the absolute best song in the EP. Hands down. No questions asked. But um yeah, like it was still good. I don't get yet. Yeah, yeah. Hear me. I still liked it for some reason. Now that the whole EP is out, I like it a little bit less, just a little bit less. Not not a lot less. It's still one of the better songs I think on the project. But yeah, I don't know. I I really don't know how to put a finger on it. I don't know why. But that's that. As we move on to Grit, the last and latest single that was released uh, from the project. Here we go. This is the Bass House track.
Okay, man, I really like that song. I think that is my favorite from the EP. I think, without even a doubt, that's probably my favorite. Um, just a banger track. I love the the bass house style. I think it's I think it works personally for me a lot better than it does with his dubstep stuff. So that's yeah. Oh man, I I really like that song. So. I, uh, I did do an initial reaction to that, so I guess if I remember to put a card up here somewhere to see if you want to see my original reaction to that, but uh, that does exist. Uh, but uh, other than that, I think we're going to hop into the final track. Uh, this is On You, uh, which on Spotify doesn't have featuring Jav Javion, but um, it does on themonstercat.com, so interesting. But uh, this is a garage track, apparently, so here we go. This is On You.
Interesting. Okay, on you. The final track. Um, yeah, it's Garage. It's very much a kind of chill, trip chill kind of track. And I was pleasantly surprised with it. Uh, it's, it has that kind of still boss fight sound to it. And I think it actually does a pretty good job of wrapping up the entire project in a more uh, calmer, relaxed way to kind of come back and just go, okay, you know what, let's, let's bring it down a little bit. So I, uh, I did kind of appreciate it. Um, this is more my style. This is the music I, I enjoy more so than the regular boss fight stuff. So I, I actually was a, I, this might be actually one of my favorite songs on the EP. Um, I, uh, I, I really liked it. Yeah, vocals were nice. Um, they were they were nice and subtle. Uh, obviously, not like you could still hear them, but they uh, like they weren't. They wasn't dude wasn't trying too hard to go anywhere that wasn't supposed to. It was just a, it was just a very laid back, solid track. So I liked it. Uh, but overall, as a whole, the Agony District EP. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I have said this many times before. I'm not the hugest boss fight fan, but this is changing my mind. Uh, this is definitely changing my mind. I would love to hear more of this. Um, I think every single song on here, I I enjoyed to some extent. Um, maybe maybe not fake as much, but that's just that's it. Um, yeah, just compared to I was looking back at some of my other like my other thoughts on some of my older boss fight songs and how much I just didn't like them as much. I thought they were very like mid, but um, all of these tracks were fantastic. Uh, and so, and that's someone that doesn't love this kind of hard brooding sound that this bro step stuff that that boss fight does. So I feel like the majority of people will absolutely think this is like insane, insane. Um, and I, I just like it, which is like a good sign. Uh, but I think there's a lot of people that will be like, this is, this is absolutely nuts. So um, yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section below of this EP, The Agony District. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know any and all comments there. Other than that, I'm Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.